Did you know that one simple formula is all that is required to manifest exactly what you want? This formula really simplifies the law of attraction down to three simple parts. And the best part is, is that once you really grasp and understand how to use this formula effectively, you will be able to manifest what you want without all the confusion and struggle. Because let's face it, it can truly feel overwhelming sometimes because there is so much information out there about manifestation and the law of attraction with tons of rules and rituals and ideas which often leave people struggling to actually see results. But I can promise that if you follow this three-step formula, you can skip all of that and get right to manifesting exactly what you want without wondering if it's working or wondering if you're doing it right because you will know for sure. Just three simple steps, a really easy formula. And some of you might be sitting there saying, well, who are you and how do I know this formula even works? Well, hello, I'm Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach and manifestation expert. And I have spent over a decade studying and practicing manifestation, the law of attraction and meditation. I've spent countless hours and years uncoding what makes manifestation actually work. And it was through my research into quantum physics, brain science, energetic principles, and so many other different modalities that I have actually figured out the missing puzzle pieces that make it all click and work. I use both spiritual and brain-based science-based tools to give you results that actually work because manifestation is way less complicated than it's made out to be. So I like to explain it in ways that make it so much easier. You can almost think of me like the L Woods of manifesting. What, like it's hard? Here on my channel, you will find all things manifestation, the law of attraction with meditations and more where I share the tools you need to get the results you want. I post brand new videos every Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that little thumbs up button below. It takes just one quick second and I can promise you this video will be the time it all finally clicks for you. So once you do that, let's get right into it. Let's get one thing really clear because this is so important. All of the things that you hear or read about the law of attraction, all of the rituals and routines that you're told to do and the affirmations that you're told to repeat, all of it, it's just simply tools in order to get you into the right energetic state to manifest. None of it is required. It's all just tools that are available to you to try out so you can get into the right energy. So take what works for you and leave the rest. Don't drive yourself crazy doing things because someone told you to do them. Manifestation is not a one size fits all approach. So I encourage you to try out all of these different techniques that I share on my channel and that you hear other places and see which resonate with you and then leave the rest. Take what works for you and leave the rest. Not everyone has the same programming, beliefs, or opinions. So what works really well for one person might not be your way in, and that's totally okay. That's why I made this formula simple and customizable. You can make it your own and use it your way. And this is a formula that I've been teaching clients and students for years now. And this is the exact formula I'm gonna show you how to use to manifest what you want. This formula doesn't require any rituals or routines or things that you have to say or do. It's just three simple steps. Are you ready for it? Grab a pen and paper. The formula is thought plus feeling plus inspired action equals manifesting. Sounds really simple, right? But here's the important part. Let me break it down for you as to how and why this works and also what to do if you feel like this formula might not work for you. Because basically, when you are wanting to manifest anything, the first step of this formula is already done. The thought. You've already had the thought of, well, wouldn't it be nice to have, be, do, or experience blank, whatever it is that you wanna manifest? And that thought comes from contrast. It comes from experiencing a certain thing and saying, well, actually, I want this instead. That is the beauty of co-creation. It's that you do have a say in how life gets to be for you, even if it may not feel that way all the time. It's the truth. You do get a say. So after that first step, after that thought, whatever it is that you want to create, the next step is feeling. And surprisingly enough, this is usually the part that trips people up because they think that they need to create some sort of like good on paper, fake type of feeling that they think they are supposed to feel if they were to have that thing. Do you see what I'm saying? They're like, it would feel good or it would feel wonderful, but like, what's the real feeling? 
Instead of trying to force some type of feeling that doesn't actually feel natural, the best way to approach this second step is to identify a one word type of feeling that having this thing would actually provide for you. It doesn't need to make sense to anybody else. This only needs to work for you. Examples could be relief, freedom, fulfillment, excitement, happiness, the list goes on and on. But really take time to find this reason behind why you want this thing that you want because it's never about the thing itself. It's about the feeling that having this thing or experience would provide. It's never about the money. It's about the freedom that having money would provide. It's never about the relationship. It's about the excitement or comfort that that relationship would provide. Do you see what I'm saying? So find your one word feeling. Really allow yourself to explore. It doesn't have to come to you right away, but choose something that you really identify with. And that is gonna be the feeling that you plug in to step two. So you have your thought, step one, whatever it is that you want. You have your one word feeling of whatever this thing would provide, step two. And the final step is inspired action. The most misunderstood step in this whole process of manifestation. I can guarantee you that. A lot of times people get stuck here thinking, okay, so like now what? What do I do next? Because we are raised in a society and a mindset of go, 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 do this to get that, go to school to get this degree, just go, go, go. That oftentimes we react to things instead of carefully taking action. So when taking this inspired action, don't just react out of feeling like you're not doing enough, let it come to you. Inspired action isn't about you going out there and making it happen or hustling and never stopping. That's not inspired action, unless that's what you feel called to do and it's something that feels right and feels good. But inspired action is sort of like a delicate dance where you have to allow yourself to be guided. Easier said than done for people who are like type A control freaks like myself. This requires trust in yourself because so often we ignore our internal guidance system, our intuition, and our gut instincts. You know what to do deep down. So allow the messages and guidance to flow through you. Be patient. We overcomplicate things by thinking we have to know everything right away and have all the right answers and all the steps that have to get us there. But inspired action is not always so immediate. Sometimes things are being rearranged energetically behind the scenes and inspired action will hit at the perfect moment when it all starts to line up for you. Inspired action can be as simple as an urge to call a certain person or go to a certain place or even send a certain email. It doesn't have to be this huge grand gesture. It could even be as simple as maybe feeling urged to take a new way home from work or to talk to a new person at the grocery store. You truly never know. But inspired action is less about doing something just to do it and more about listening and following your instincts and the guidance that's flowing through to you. You'll know it's inspired action because you will feel called on some different level to go do a certain thing. And it might show up right away. It might take hours, days, weeks, or months. But the thing is, inspired action always shows up when you can be certain of the outcome. You've had the thought and chosen what you want in step one, You've picked out the feeling and held that feeling in your body without forcing it for step two. And you sort of live in that feeling of step two until the inspired action shows up for step three. Once inspired action happens and you feel called, urged, or led to do something, that's when manifestation can occur. Thought plus feeling plus inspired action equals manifesting. So you might be sitting there saying, well, what if it isn't working? Or what if no matter how hard I try, what I want just isn't showing up? Well, if that's happening for you, then I can pinpoint it with just one word, resistance. If something isn't manifesting and you're truly committing to and following all the steps, then you are very, 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 very likely you have resistance that you need to clear. Oftentimes the same patterns, same situations, same circumstances, will continue to repeat over and over and over and over again based on your resistance. For instance, if you want something, but maybe you're scared of the change that comes along with it, or maybe you want something but you don't fully actually believe it's possible, then how do you expect to have it? Resistance is really tied in with subconscious programming and it can run so deep. If I tried to get into all the resistance right now, this video would be hours upon hours hours, hours long. So let me just give you two quick tools that you can use if you feel that resistance around whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Basically, if anything doesn't feel good about what you're manifesting, you have resistance. 
that's one of the strongest indicators. Any negative or worried or stressed or overwhelming feelings typically indicate resistance. And like I said, I could spend hours upon hours teaching on resistance because I truly think removing resistance is the most important step in manifestation. Until you remove resistance, it's really hard to manifest something. But some really great tools that you can use to actually start clearing this resistance are my belief reprogramming meditation or my law of assumption meditation. These are both completely free and I'll leave a link in the description box below, so be sure to try these out. I have seen so many people have big breakthroughs when it comes to getting rid of resistance from these. And like I said, manifestation isn't a one size fits all approach. Be sure to try both and see which one you connect to. And you can also alternate them if that feels good. And if you wanna go even deeper and really clear your resistance once and for all, I would highly recommend my manifesting activation system. Inside this system, I teach the six principles that need to be activated for manifestation to work every single time. There's no system like this. And once you're in, you get lifetime access to this system and can use it for each and everything that you're trying to manifest. It's six steps laid out in a specific order, and it goes way deeper, especially into clearing resistance, which is the first principle of the whole process. And one of my favorite parts is that I actually guide you through an exact exercise to clear resistance on a subconscious level, and people really rave about how quickly this works. It all starts with your programming. And there's also a resistance series checklist inside the program that will help you access and identify and move blocks quickly so that you can start to manifest with more ease and precision. The manifesting activation system is really different because it uses a combination of quantum physics, energy work, subconscious programming, and mindset work designed to clear resistance, shift your energy and create new beliefs and expectations, new expectations about what you get to have. So if you want more information on the manifesting activation system, I'm going to leave a link up here and I'll leave a link down below for you. And like I said, you get lifetime access to go back and repeat these same six steps for each thing that you're manifesting. It's a really easy to use straightforward system. I really hope that you found value in this video and that you start using this formula right away to really simplify and streamline your manifesting. Be sure to try out those free meditations too, to really start start clearing anything that doesn't feel good about the thought, whatever it is that you're manifesting, because that'll really help you move through the steps so much quicker. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also find me over on Instagram and TikTok at mkmagicmindset. And if you want to learn more about me, my programs, how to work with me and more, you can visit my website at mkmagicmindset.com and I will see you in the next one.